in Bible. Tear, this is this is a vocal trio. They've been touring with the USO. Actually, they've been kind of off, off USO. <laughs> it's kind of a fringe thing, but um, they do have. Uh, they're called the Daughters of Dick Cheney. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad everyone here. The daughter, er, the, yes, the daughters of Dicini. The daughters of Dicini. Yeah. They're the pretty ones, right? This is Vivian, Phyllis, and Inez. <laughs> Hello. You might guess from looking at us that we all have different fathers, but Dick Cheney is our mother. And we're very happy to be back here. And I'm, oh, In Seattle. I want to thank Miss Ann Coulter for lending me her Bible and gun because I usually have one on me. They took ours away. But tonight she, she was there. She was able to fill a gap that you had what a sweet in your lady. life. She fills gaps. That's what Ann Coulter does. She just fills gaps. Now, where, where are y'all from? You know, I would just like to say that you? New Republican magazine called us the TLC for the conservative set. <laughs> that is such an honor. We don't know who they are, but we're thrilled because people seem to respond. You know, we're like TLC songs, ta -ta. No. <laughs> Songs. So we're from well, Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, Florida. <laughs> the home of Scientology. <laughs> well, there are some scientists down there, yes. Yeah, there are? Yes. And a lot of Christians. I'm sure. Of course. Of course. Well, I mean, right. those are the ones we listen to. And uh, gators, gators. And gators? Lots of gators. Lots of Christian gators. Christian gators. <laughs> no, Christian gators. <laughs> Do you want a microphone? No. Yeah. <laughs> she can project. <laughs> well, we heard that you guys are telling this story about your trip to Korea and how it went completely awry. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, that well. was during our All Access of Evil tour. Yes, All Access of Evil. We started off in Iran. Where did we go then? Uh, Detroit. Detroit. Um, California. Uh, Hawaii, because those gays. The marriage in California. No. And then we, we stopped in Seoul. Oh, Seoul, Korea. Which we wouldn't get into North Korea for some reason. Uh, well, we, we were doing a USO show there, well, well kind of an off, off USO It was just show. off USO, it was not They didn't really off. want us, so we performed in a, in, what was it? it was like lucky, a lucky, bang, bang, good time, happy, fun time. <laughs> there was just one bang. Now, oh, um, no. It was this kind of divey little place, right? Right next to where the military guys hung out. I swear to God, there were more military been. men there than there were on the base. I know they brought all their money and they were pretty ladies, and then we got to. Never saw a Korean girl. People were saluting. Never sat around like that. God. So you were at Happy Lucky Fun Time Bang Bang House. One bang. Oh, One yeah. Bang, yeah. Bang so we were performing there. We were doing three night, three night, three night stand. <laughs> a three night stand. One for each of us. Oh. <laughs> I'm really not saying you were really standing for much of your time there. I mean, oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Phyllis has yeah. a thing for, uh... I like GIs. Yeah. GI. Like them too? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, anyway. What had happened was... We were, we, were doing our, we were doing our show and all of a sudden there was like some noises and a scuffle. And all, next thing we knew, we were being dragged through some tunnels by, what's Kim his name? Jong Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il. Kim. Yeah. It, it turns out that he. Wait, can we not talk about the tunnels at all? Well, I didn't think this was part about this. This is why they brought Kim it. Jong Il took us to his underground palace because he loves patriotic songs and he knew that we sang them. It was amazing. They so, had like gold toilet So you were, oh, you were abducted by Kim Jong Il. He turns well, out he loves American patriotic songs. It was more like he brought us to him. Three thousand Mercedes Benz or something, and yeah, I, oh. and some of the loveliest underground tunnels through the DMV. 
to the DMV. <laughs> I think I stayed in that tunnel before, recently. What's the deal with the Jeeps? I heard he has some interesting Jeeps. Well, yeah, they're so, like... So, Jamaican ice cream! Yeah. <laughs> Kim Jong-il has Jeeps made of ice cream. I kid you not. How does that work? I'm just curious. Oh, I'm in the wrong well, it there. works out deliciously. That's how that works. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so they're coming out of the darkness of the tunnel, and we come in, and it's just amazing. They've got golden toilet seat covers, I know, it's and like they've that. got these fabulous jeans. They get stuck to your bottom, and then your bottom's all golden. Oh, yeah, I mean, that. And then, oh, and <laughs> Phyllis here, of course, got right with some of the Korean soldiers and started to... Uh, you know, they got a little half naked. They stripped me down and covered me in kimchi, and one thing led to another. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds messy. Yeah, but you know, while we were there, though, we did we did perform a, a song. Yes. Yes. That, that, that Kim Jong Il was rather proud. Like he, he loved most. Pleased to hear. So I was just wondering. You know, I hope somebody might just kick into it. All right, that sounds wonderful. The daughters of Dick Cheney, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? 